yo, look at this f***ing bullshit. What the f***? Do a flip! Alright y'all, so before I start this video, I just want y'all to know this video might just be very long. Due to the fact that there's going to be a lot of stuff going on other than just Luffy and Robert fight. Oh, also if y'all did not know, when I be recording these videos, I be doing like 2 to 5 episodes every video. Not every, every video. Like the past 2 videos, it was like 2 episodes. But the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because it's looking like I might be covering 6 to 7 episodes. So that's why I say it might be a long video. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna try my best to explain like the important parts and stuff like that but yeah y'all get it anyways all one piece fans listen to me and hear me well i'm gonna need y'all to get me to 30k before the end of this month first of all if you're a one piece fan i shouldn't even have to tell you to subscribe but if i got to make sure y'all boys subscribe to the channel and grab something anything you need to eat because this is gonna be a long one and yeah let's start this video so we start off with the getter justice finally completely opened up and y'all already know everybody gonna still be trying to get off the island this big aki body marine running so fucking weird bro like what is this next after that we cut to spun him and he puts a rope on robin and he just started running dragging her with him and he was telling her he set a whole bum by the stairs so if somebody tried to come and save her they gonna get blown up but not only he tells her that he tells her that his dad was a part of that buster call 20 years ago that blew up her homeland and that really hit robin by surprise man's out here just doing her wrong bro this man was so sick he was asking her how was it to be the last survivor running to the next money hungry adult hoping she wasn't killed or sold out meaning robin had to fight for her whole life since she was a little kid like bro that's actually really 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 crazy i'm not gonna lie bro i really really felt bad for robin too because he had her crying bro she did not deserve all of this bro it's like it's heartbreaking i'm not gonna lie but anyway since he wanted to continue talking crap instead of just taking her away frankie finally ended up pulling up but he still ended up getting blown up by the bomb and got sent flying into the sea after spun him seeing that he just now started taking off running but it's too late for all of that because my boy sniper King done snipe this man in the back sending this man flying next after that the marines were trying to figure out where is the enemy at like how is they getting sniped and in the mix of them trying to figure that out one of them get popped in the face and then after that two more get popped and more 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 this man spawn him he gets up and he start yelling at them telling them to fight back but bro how they gonna fight back if they don't even know who the opponent is or where he at this man sniper king was going crazy his attack was just flying past robin with precise aim <laughs> meanwhile robin she over here crying because she knew her friends was gonna save her but yeah eventually the marines they end up spotting this man sniper king and this man was all the way on the top of the tower of law sniping them with a whole slingshot anyways after that robin started running away while the marines were trying to gun her down but that's when my boy frankie done stepped in and he stopped all of their bullets my boy frankie was pissed after getting blown up by that bomb he wasn't playing with spawn him he had that boy shook but before he do all of that sniper king hits him up on the transponder snail and he tells him that he dropped off some keys for him with the keys that frankie already have which means that frankie has all of the keys now and now he can finally unlock robin handcuffs which he eventually does bro finally though it's about time after all of that robin finally get her revenge and she started slapping the hell out of this man spawn him like i mean she was going crazy bro robin was like she was waiting a long time to do this and you know what robin I was waiting a long time too because this man really deserve it. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, after she was done with that, she had this man left looking like this. Bro deserve way more than this, but we just gonna leave it at this for now. Next, after that, a battleship shoot a warning shot to let them know that they're here. Everybody was looking like, bro, what is going on? Next, after that, they shoot the top of the Tower of Law while this man Starfy King is still on the top. But luckily, nothing happened to him and he was still okay. Next, after that sanji let both frankie and robin know that everyone is okay and that they're heading their way so now that both frankie and robin know that they just started bodying the marines back and forth and pretty much y'all already know how that goes so like i mean i don't really have to show y'all so 
yeah next we cut to kokoro chimney and eventually nami she end up catching up to them and basically they just trying to meet up with robin and them like everyone else next after that we finally cut to luffy and robert look what they start doing after we finally get to see them they over here hopping around everywhere like bro box luffy must be hurt me because he started aiming for his attack meanwhile this man robert still over here hopping around luffy was like here kitty 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 and throws a punch at him the crazy thing about it it almost worked but it wasn't enough it's cool though because luffy he goes behind his back with just a slight smile and kicks bro right in his furry chest sending him flying to the wall next after that robert he wasn't messing with that so he tried hitting my boy luffy with multiple finger pistols but he must be there and know that my goat was training with goku how the way he was just dodging all of his attacks man's out here moving like ultra instinct after that my boy jumped out the way so fast he literally had this man robert staring in space until he realized that he was above him then after that luffy tried stomping down on him but robert hops out the way with this perfect dog just for him to send himself flying into the boxes the crazy thing is he gets back up with a smile on his face dusting himself off like he didn't just fumble that dodge and i know it may sound like i'm a robber hater but like come on y'all y'all can agree with me on this but anyways both him and luffy hops up in the air and goes for a punch had this bitch looking like looney tune because how can one punch make dust but after that luffy had this man robert sliding on his back while my boy luffy he still had his setup like like, yeah boy i'm ready so with that being said robert he tries this zigzag shit trying to hit luffy but my boy luffy he dodges it and i told y'all that he was training with goku because this man legit hits robert with a whole key blast and if that's not enough proof that luffy was training with goku then i don't know what is but after that my boy luffy's second gear form start to tap out because it turns out he can't hold it for a long time this man was using his legs as pumps to increase his blood flow imagine if bro was a regular human his whole heart would have burst but since he's not he can handle it but that doesn't mean that he should do it man's was out here shortening his own lifespan just for this fight luffy is real as hell bro he's doing this just so his friends won't die bro robert was like even if he beat him pause the buster call still gonna pull up on them and go crazy but not only that this man robert done sliced the pipes in half so that way all of the water could go down a secret passageway and cook anyone that's down there like for a example them and them robert had my boy luffy piss he was like bro this is not no game next after that we cut to the battleships and they was over here blowing up everything in any's lobby like i'm talking about them boys was wreaking havoc to the point that robin could not even fight no more her past trauma was getting to the best of her and honestly i can't really blame her having a buster call happen twice is crazy work but anyways we cut back to luffy and robert and them boys was just over here huffing and puffing until eventually both of them end up going to the second floor so they won't get caught up by the seawater and for some odd reason i love this part because this man luffy he climbs up the ladder like a madman and he just hops up doing these flips like he deserve a gold medal no like seriously someone give him a gold medal but anyways robert he was trying to make my boy luffy take his eyes off the fight but my boy luffy was like he ain't taking his eyes off him until he finished him off after that robert put his setup and he started smiling i know he in his head like damn you really didn't fall for it but anyways both robert and luchi just jumped towards each other and started throwing straight hands and as they're throwing hands we can see that both of them is blocking each other punches equally but not for long because robert he goes for this mean ass uppercut and luffy just barely dodges it you can tell luffy was dodging that with all his might because this man whole body is in the air since his body was in the air like that he didn't have time to recover so this man get knee in the stomach so hard had my boy face looking like this next after that robert he goes for a follow-up and he knees him in the stomach again sending my boy crashing down to the floor but wait robert wasn't even done yet he tries to finish him off with a finger pistol but luckily my boy luffy dodges it but this man robert still wasn't done 
This man immediately goes for his cinnamon roll tempest kick and peak this Luffy he tries to hop out the way but that bit end up tracking him and he still end up getting hit. And as soon as Luffy hits the ground bro just look at this. Robert still wasn't giving this man no time to recover. Man's already had another kick waiting for my boy Luffy. But it's all good because my boy Luffy was ready this time and he catches Robert's feet with his legs. And then he tries to follow up with a gum gum rifle. Drilling the hell out of this man Robert chest but it didn't work because bro used his iron body and he knocks Luffy off. After that Luffy was just trying to take a quick little breather but Robert was like nah uh and locks in grabbing my boy Luffy neck with his tail. Then after that bro started talking so much crap but my boy Luffy wasn't hearing none of that. My boy was like get over here bitch and started spinning the little kitty around in circles so fast he couldn't do anything but just to let it happen. After that Luffy throws him in the air and he tries to go for a punch but Robert he dodged is it never mind i changed my mind this is not robert bro who is this but anyways after that luffy started running towards robert and this man robert done pulled out his finger blicky and shoots my boy luffy with it right in his shoulder and then immediately after he shoots him from behind then after that he pulls up in his face with it and shoots him right in the stomach man's being disrespectful with it instead of shooting from long range this man pulls up in front of him like that's crazy but anyways after that he still continues you to spam his finger blicky like bro i'm not even lying y'all can see for yourself this man was out here just spamming them hoes to the point my boy luffy had to drop down and take a knee and what makes this worse it still wasn't looking good for luffy because this man robert was about to summon maharaga my bad, I thought he was about to summon Maharaga. Bro had me worried there for Luffy for a second. Well, technically, I'm still worried because this man started charging up his finger blick and shoots fire at Luffy. Luffy tries blocking it, but for some reason, he still got burned. And after that attack, my boy Luffy was laid out. Then this man Robert had to say something. Mans was talking about some. I would have been disappointed if I expected a real challenge from you. After that we see my goat still standing up. He ain't done yet. And my boy Luffy tells him. So you was looking for a real challenge huh? How did his voice get so deep? Don't worry about that little nigga. After that, Luffy used his third gear and he booms this man Robert, sending this man flying with his giant fist. And bro, when I say giant fist, I meant that. When I saw this for the first time, bro, I was doing backflips. Pause. But no, for real though, this really had me rolling out of my seat. This definitely was a hype moment for me, I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, this man Luffy really sent Robert flying, bro. And this man Robert was like he's about to pass ass out and honestly if those battleships wasn't right here this battle would have been already over because he would have got sent flying into the sea look how bro was breathing he was nearly cooked from that attack i bet bro won't try blocking those again anyways eventually he gets up and he takes off his shirt in front of a group of marines bro i knew this man was this nah let me stop before y'all be like bro all you do is hate on robber bro okay and it's not my fault he wanted to go against my glorious king luffy but now nah, i all in seriousnessnessness robert is a w character i'm not gonna lie yeah i may clown him a lot but he's actually a goaded character i'm not gonna lie so just saying if y'all really think i actually hate luchi just because i be calling him robert then hey that's y'all but anyways luffy he slingshot himself all the way in the air with this crazy build and then he throws his leg up in the air pause and then he makes it big pause again by the way y'all be like bro why you always say pause for every single thing bro it's just something i'm just used to saying and it's just stuck in my brain so i just said but yeah luffy he smashes the battleship in half with his big giant grippers but robert managed to dodge that attack and then after that he immediately throws his his tempest kick at luffy and luffy just barely dodges that so robert get a little pissed and he goes at luffy and he bites him luffy wasn't messing with that so he knocks this man robert off of him Pause! what is that after that luffy tries to go at him with another kick and not to mention while he was doing that this man was breaking up the battleship but still robert was able to dodge it and hits luffy again with his finger blicky and then immediately after that robert he goes behind luffy back and robert tells luffy it seemed this new power comes at a cost of your speed which is obvious because i mean luffy can't get another hit off him but yeah after he said that he knocks this man luffy down and then immediately after he throws a tempest kick at my boy but luckily my boy 
boy end up dodging that attack or else he would have been looking like gojo anyways after that luffy third gear starts to wear off and this man end up turning into a little chibi bro so adorable but anyways luffy was like he gotta find somewhere to hide at because he can't fight him like this obviously after that we cut back to frankie and spawn him and as usual spawn him talking like he's like that and for some reason he felt like he wanted to bring up tom in front of frankie face so while bro was still talking my boy frankie booms this man right in the face and after that my boy frankie was like i'm tired of your mouth bro shut the hell up next after that eventually spawn him he gets back up and he tells his elephant sword to attack robin while her guard is down and tries attacking robin but luckily my goat frankie came in just in time bro and stopped robin from dying because look how close this blade was to robin head her life would have been gone if my boy frankie didn't step in anyways after that my boy frankie wasn't even planned no more like he was dead ass he tells this elephant if he doesn't change his nose back to normal he's gonna put some holes in it that elephant did not want no smoke so he turned his nose back to normal next after that this man frankie he picks up the elephant and he started running towards spawning with it and smashes this man spawning with the elephant like bro got crushed and i'm so happy bro because he's finally getting a beating he deserved after that frankie he started shooting at the marines with his arm blicky and of course that was like where he had them boys falling off the bridge and all man had to make sure he finished them off good he used his cannon on them as well robin seen frankie going crazy and she was like hold up i gotta snap out of this and she tells frankie that she's ready to fade again next we cut back to luffy again and apparently he got snuffed out after that robert gets slim and use his finger pistol on luffy immediately you know bro was feeling like he was him because he wasn't even looking and then after that he smashes luffy into the wall then next after that he started to try to yap to this man luffy but my boy was like bro shut up so robert gets mad at him and smashes luffy into the wall next after that he jumps back instead of trying to end luffy life right there no seriously he could have actually finished him off but nah he wanted to jump back and do all this movement right here causing his legs to give out on him because it turns out that punch that luffy gave to him earlier did way more damage than he thought after that luffy grows back to his normal size next we cut back to the rest of the crew and it was over here about to die but luckily kokoro she came in a clutch and it turns out all this time she was a mermaid this whole time not gonna lie when i first saw this bro this caught me by surprise like bro this looks so weird bro bro why does she look like she could be big mom's sister or something hey i'm just saying anyways we come back to frankie and robin and they end up taking one of the marine ships like nothing and after that they were just pretty much waiting for the crew to pull up which they did because kokoro ended up popping up out of the water and my boy frankie was over here shocked also y'all bro look at this crazy frame i found they did my boy frankie dirty with these fat lips bro pause but yeah after kokoro saved them everybody was doing a little yapping and yada 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 and everybody was happy that robin was saved and all that stuff and then after that zoro sniper king frankie and sanji end up walking up towards the bridge because they still got stuff to do also sanji asked frankie does he think his friends is okay and frankie like bro they my niggas bro they gonna be okay and then eventually we cut to them and it turns out they not looking like they okay because these motherfuckers were surrounded by all these battleships with that being said this man paulie he went down just to grab a transponder snail to see how luffy and them is doing and that's when a battleship shot them and blew them away bro frankie don't want to hear this one right here so we cut back to frankie and them and the marine just started talking on the speaker saying that they just wiped out the frankie family and them you what saying that they are dead bro after frankie heard that my boy was in shock i'm not gonna lie bro i thought he was gonna crash out pretty much everybody else was like damn bro that's crazy y'all know how when like something bad happened you'd be like damn bro that's crazy that's basically how everybody else was but after all that frankie being the w man he is he didn't try to let that affect him and he walks up and he started yelling luffy name and he was telling him that all his friends made it 
it and they out here waiting for him and basically he won't accept luffy dying and all of that stuff like that you know the generic stuff frankie is a real one bro i swear he is with that being said we cut back to luffy and robert and luffy he pumps up that second gear again knowing his body can't take no more of that but he's still doing it robert was telling him bro you gonna kill yourself bro just chill out with that but luffy was like i guess it's only one way to find out eventually after that luffy goes for his jack pistol and he managed to hit robert in the stomach but he jumped back to less than a blow after that robert he pulls up behind luffy and he tried throwing hella punches at him but my boy luffy he was just weaving all of those after that robert he goes in for a strong right bro it's not frankie but luffy stops his punch and he goes in for the mean left robert blocks it but you could tell that that punch was strong as hell my boy luffy was like i'm about to show you how to punch with your right fist and he punched this man robert right in the stomach and oh yeah he definitely felt that because that boy dropped down but luffy did not care about none of that and he kept on running towards him had this man robert shocked and bodies him some more sending him flying into the rubble and as this man robert was trying to get up we see this those punches were so damn hard he left punch marks on this man's stomach that's crazy this man robert got tired of getting knocked down everywhere pulling up to my boy luffy hitting him with the six king pistol knocking luffy back what the fuck no but anyways luffy can barely stand up and robert took this opportunity to throw this tempest kick at this man luffy slicing this whole building in half in the process but it's all good though because luffy he ended up weaving that attack and still was able to get back up but while that was happening the marines they done blew up the bridge they are trying to make sure this man luffy is trapped and have nowhere else to go but not only that they are surrounding the crew as well maybe we got to frankie sanji zoro and sniper king yelling at luffy telling him that they're all okay and they're going to be fine and all he got to do is beat robert and they all can leave this man robert was over here giving side eyes because he hating while luffy looks at them and he shakes his head like yeah all right i got y'all after that we cut back to the marines and they have so many vice admirals ready for them like bro it's crazy how much they have for them bro and as they was about to get ready to fight this man sanji was gone but it's for a good purpose which i'll explain in the next video because it won't be in this video so with that being said they all started jumping down off their ships and frankie was like bro i don't got time for this and he just shoots them next after that zoro he just jumps up in the air and he just slices all of them my boy sniper king was doing what he does best sniping them and pretty much y'all get it It was like a whole battle royale like they all were just fighting these marines back to back even nami and robin had to fight them off they was going crazy too after all of that we cut back to luffy fight and luffy he tries to throw a punch at robert but he hops out the way next after that luffy still tried throwing punches at this man robert but he was just blocking all of it and it seems that his punches wasn't really doing that much to him anyways luffy was out here struggling he tried to throw even more faster punches at him but that wasn't even doing nothing so he goes for his jet axe robert hops out the way and started spamming tempest kicks at luffy and while he was doing that at the same time luffy was throwing a barrage of punches at this man robert but he was just over here dodging all of his punches also while robert was doing this he was talking about how he gonna chase robin to the ends of the earth with him saying that that started to piss this man luffy off like he literally made this man robert freeze up for a sec pulling up right in front of his face going for a kick but robert he weaves that attack and then he pulls up in front of luffy and use that same attack again on him messing luffy up really bad bro like my boy was really out here vibrating so y'all already know it wasn't looking good for my boy luffy at all don't let robert fool you that man is out of it as well but anyways luffy just barely gets up after this man takes three steps he just falls falls back down and bro when i first saw this i was like bro luffy bro please you almost there bro don't give up now just a couple of more punches and this cat is cooked get up bro but i guess my speech wasn't enough because my boy Usopp had to pull up yeah that's right you heard me Usopp came and pulled up and he started giving this man the speech of his life but not only that this man was talking so much trash to both of them he was trash talking both luffy and robert to the point usopp took the attention off luffy and made robert look at him bro was like you need to work on your legs how your upper body bigger than your lower body nigga i'm usopp you can't beat me i'm a god little nigga i've been being little kitty cats like you with just my little finger a moral of the story usopp pep talk ended up working and helping luffy get back up bro had robert shook 
Next after that, Luffy tells Robert until he beat him, he's not gonna drop to the ground ever again. My boy out here moving like Katakuri. But anyways, they both goes for fist bumps. Next, they both jump back just to come right back, pause. And they both just started throwing hands back to back. Like, man, that shit was getting crucial. Blood was flying everywhere, bro. Like, this shit was going crazy. Next after that, Robert tries to go for a kick, but my boy Luffy just dodged it. But then Robert remembered he could throw long range attacks as well. So while he was still in the air, he throws a tempest kick at Luffy, but Luffy dodges it. Next, Luffy tried punching Robert twice, but he just shifts out the way twice. Next after that, Robert tries to pull up on Luffy, but my boy Luffy was like, not this time, and he waxed this man. But in the process, Luffy was coughing up a lot of blood. Men's out here really struggling, struggling for real, for real. And while that was happening, this man Robert was doing all this maneuvering shit in the air, moving back towards Luffy. Luffy tried attacking him, but he weaved both of his attacks. While doing that, he goes behind Luffy. Luffy, and this man goes for the kill. Luffy got hit so hard they had to replay that bit three different times. You could tell this man Robert went all out with that attack because the impact from that attack reached the wall behind Luffy, bro. This shit is crazy. After that, this man got disrespectful with it and dropped Luffy on his feet. Then he proceeds to walk away like the fight is over. Luffy did not even fall down yet, even though this man looking like he about to die. I ain't gonna lie. Luffy was like, I ain't hear no bell and he gets back on his two feet you could tell that took a lot out of him this man is struggling like look at this man coughing out even more blood bro but luffy endured all that pain and he started yelling to let this man robert know that this fight ain't over yet it was so crazy to the point that they gave this man robert a flashback what luffy said to him earlier look at my boy over here just standing here menacingly while robert like he's right behind me isn't he pay attention guys because this is the look of a man that knows he's about to get cooked look at him y'all my boy done had enough it's over now it's time to put this cat in the mud so with that being said my boy luffy just started throwing his gum gum gallon so damn fast we couldn't even see this man fist by the time we even seen his fist they was already on robert body and these two punches that they let us see bruh it was so satisfying bruh i swear it was but after that this man luffy just started going crazy mans was putting them paws on him like i know robert whole body just felt like it was just vibrating the whole time but yeah eventually after that this man luffy he finished this kitty cat off and with that this pussy cat was no longer a threat no like seriously this man was tko after that luffy yells out robin name so loud don't ask me how he's even able to do that at this point but yeah after he did that robin shed some tears and then my goat started smiling and the episode ends there yeah i can tell this definitely gonna be a long video so if y'all made it this far bro much respect to y'all bro really appreciate the love that's number one number two guys we are approaching the end of this arc very very soon and boy y'all that came along the way and y'all that stayed here from the beginning to the end all i'm gonna say is bro that's just crazy love bro i don't want to make this video too longer than what it already is so i'm not gonna yap too much i just want to say i really 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 appreciate you guys so much and another thing i just want y'all to share this video out to any friend that watch one piece or just just a one piece fan in general i don't know bro just share it to anyone it, they could be a random just just share it but with that being said i hope y'all boys enjoy another one of my videos let's get this 30k worth so close and i'll see y'all when i see y'all peace